welcome back. So today we are going to open up the SP Connect Moto bundle for iPhone 12 Pro Max. They have this for all the devices, but today I have an iPhone 12 Pro Max. So this is the bundle that I got. Uh, disclaimer, this is sent to me for my review. So thanks SP Connect for sending it to me. I'll unbox it and fit it onto my Triumph T100. Then we will take it for a ride and see how it all performs. They also send me a anti-vibration module. So we will see how good that is. All right, so now I got my phone here. So let's unbox it. All right, look at it. Nice packaging here. Let's see what's inside here. All right, so that's the mount. Adapters and other mounting points. Okay, so. All right, the case is very simple. You just have the case here. Nice soft padding inside. So we have installed the phone cover. So this part goes on to the bike. So we will see how that is. Uh, the part here that goes on to the handlebar or anywhere on the bike. And it comes with the necessary hardware to install this thing. So. Take the screw out so you can open it up. Now you can mount it onto the bike. So let's do that. So, where do I want it? So it comes with the right adapters. So this is the, I think the one inch adapter. So I'm gonna put that in here. Put this on top of it. And you can adjust it to the middle. I will exactly position it behind the key. That's good enough. Now we can put the second piece of it. All right, so this is the second piece that goes on top. It has like a teeth, so it goes in exactly. So position it in a place where you want it to. All right, it's there. Now let me put the phone and see if it touches the tank or not. So the phone goes horizontal and then tilt it. All right, that looks good. So let's uh, go for a quick ride and see how it holds up. And I'm pretty happy with the minimalistic look on the handlebar. You won't even notice it because it's so slim and thin and this round thing is very minimal. I like it. And I think the competitor has a bigger round shape here. So it's more present. Whereas this one is so sleek. I like this one better, so. Alright guys, so I am actually happy with uh, how the mounting point is. So it's obviously not in my line of sight. So if I have to take a look at the phone, phone map or something, obviously I have to take a look down. So that's the only thing, but that's the case with uh, any of the mounts, I guess. But if it is a RAM mount that I previously had, um, it was maybe standing a little bit up high so it's not uh, too far from the road uh, view but I think I like this one better it's not interrupting my view um, in the sense I am not distracted by this only when I have to look at the map intentionally uh, then I look down So along with the actual phone cover, SP Connect has also provided a weather case which is like a transparent um, rubber plasticky kind of thing that goes on top and uh, it is 
touch screen so uh, you can still uh, do gestures and uh, touch control so that is good thing and the other thing that I was curious was would it do wireless charging because it has that thick uh, plastic shape at the back of the phone uh, that that is the mounting point so I tried uh, putting on to the wireless charging pad and it did uh, perfectly fine so I don't see any issues where you would have any trouble charging the phone with the wireless pad especially if the charging point is interfering with that plastic thing so in my case for iPhone 12 Pro Max uh, I didn't had any issue so that's another thing I wanted to point out what else I think I have right now not installed the anti-vibration module um, I'm not seeing any much vibration happening but I think that might be something good to install I know this camera has a sensor movement and maybe the vibration could cause some damage to the mechanical hardware part of uh, the phone so um, to my eyes I don't see any vibration but uh, you know those subtle minor vibrations that can happen for the phone because it's on the handlebar um, probably it's a good idea to avoid that by adding the anti-vibration module so we'll head back to home and install that and then see how that looks like all right other than that i think we are good in a minute or so we'll be taking it to maybe uh, the u.s highway where we can test out uh, on high speeds about 50 to 60 miles an hour so and then see if there is any noticeable movement or change to this okay so pretty good Sunday morning not much rush all the restaurants have outdoor dining and I see a lot of people enjoying that after the last year this year that's a welcome change and obviously in summer who doesn't want to sit out right all right we are at uh 45 50 55 range and uh, bumps across the way yep those are pretty bad bumps and it's holding up pretty good so nothing to worry the the lock on this thing is solid you wouldn't run into any issues Alright, 60, 70, yeah, no change at all, so it should be good in highway conditions, I'm not expecting any issues with that, so now take a bumpy road and see how it handles the bumpiness. Okay, let's go through the bumpy ride. Oh my god. It holds up pretty good. Not too bad. So, no concerns on the bumpy road also.
All right, there's Sunday baseball going on. So everybody's out. And I'm enjoying my ride as well. So pretty good Sunday. Not too warm, not too cold. Ideal for riding at uh, 67 to 68 degree Fahrenheit. So good. the ram mount here so you can have plenty of option to adjust this in whichever way you want but the problem is every time I have to put this in I have to be careful that I'm not pinching on any of the buttons on the side it takes time and then you have to kind of wiggle with this rubber band thing put a lot of pressure on the phone because you're trying to put the rubber bands on four sides and it's not easy. I use the mounting system to mount action cameras and stuff like that, not for the phone. Especially if you have a case for the phone, I wouldn't use it because then it becomes more, much more difficult. And these rubber things can come out easily. So if you're not careful, you can lose those. And then this becomes like a harsh uh, metal if i'm when i'm not using the phone then this kind of stand and it's you know standing in the way and it's not a clean solution the second option is the right one that i used once in a while again not too much because of the complexities uh, not complex it's easy to use but uh, the problem is it's not that secure and it's a spring and plasticky so again on the side you have to be careful with the buttons did not feel much secure because it's plastic and stuff like that so it's just a clamp that attached to anything so if i remove it you can see you know it's just a clamp you can attach it to anything that clamps onto it so it's a spring action and again it it is bulky and it is noticeable when you're not using the phone. So that's why I went with the SP Connect. And as you can see here, when not in use, it's very minimal. You won't even notice that it's there. And it looks very neat and it gives a very clean look to the overall setup. It's not necessary that when you're going out, you always attach the phone. Uh, so I was looking for something extremely sleek the other option was quad lock and it has a blue color and also i didn't like that and the other advantage of sp connect is this it's not like a plastic thing on this it's a metal so the chances of this wearing out is very minimal so i went with the sp connect because as you can see when there is no phone the presence is very minimal you wouldn't even notice that it's here and the way it goes is it pushes down and when you rotate, it just engages. And to take it out, you can rotate either this way and take it out, or you can twist it either way. So it's pretty easy to put on and off. So if you're a person you wanna ride, just put the phone, start riding. That is a perfect option because it's so, so fast. All right guys, so that's all. Wanted to give you a quick unboxing and initial review of this product and if you are interested in checking out this product and want to get a discount click on the link in the description below and you will get a 5% discount on your purchase for the SP Connect. Alright in the next video we will install the anti-vibration module and see how that looks like and we will take it for a test ride and see if you notice any difference and things like that. Stay tuned and I will see you in the next one. Bye.